Hi. Hi, Hello. Sandra. How are you? I'm good. Lovely to hear your voice. Thank you. That's great. Um, do you mind if I start firing a few questions at you? Is that okay? Go for it. Wonderful. Um, I wondered if we could go back, uh, well, way back actually, to uh, the Booker T School of Performing Arts. If you could oh. tell us a little bit about that. <laughs> yeah, we're going way back. Yeah, you, it's. I don't know if you guys uh, remember the movie Fame. We certainly Irene, do. Yeah, yeah with Irene Cara. That was my school, really. It really was my school. It was. <laughs> Pretty much like that, people dancing and skipping up the halls, and it was it was it was almost a, an unbelievably um, magical time to to, uh, to to be a teenager and have that sort of facility facility to to learn music and to uh, to get to know your craft. It was brilliant, really brilliant. And of course, you know, um, I, w- I went there in the I was a part of the first graduating class that went through the full full four years. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so just to give my little age away. <laughs> <laughs> but it was brilliant, you know, and of course subsequently uh Erica Badu graduated from there and Roy Hargrove and Nora Jones and Edie Brickell. Uh, I mean it, the, the list goes on with actresses and uh actors. We've had a lot of uh quite successful people come from that school. Wonderful! Uh, it sounds really great, and um, such such great names as well. Um, must be uh, must be a really really lovely thing to have been part of at the time. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah, F- fantastic. So, um, I mean, the first sorts of things for you were joining the Kansas Bass Band, um, which was led by Zachary Bro- Brooks. Is that, is that <laughs> the right pronunciation? <laughs> no, the, the, it's a, it's a bro. It's a uh, Pronounced like B R O, but it's bro in the French way. With the oh F. yes, yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah, now, he was there actually. Um, they were based in. Um, he came about out of a North Texas State University, so uh, Texas band, Texas Texas based band, and we ended up moving to a little piece of crap town called Port Arthur. I hope nobody from Port Arthur hears that. Uh, where we rented a house as a band and and played for fifty bucks a week and. Wow. <laughs> And we paid uh, we paid some dues, you know what I mean, in that house, and traveled through uh, Texas and Louisiana, and and did gigs uh, out of an old dusty black van. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's how you used to do it, you know. Get your, you got to get your your chops up, and yeah, well, pay your dues. <laughs> <laughs> just loving that just loving that that's fantastic yeah i think you got the kansas connection i went to kansas university yes yeah yeah right and i went to the jazz band there yeah now that's that's brilliant so um so so what did you um what did you you do at kansas university then? basically the i got a music a full music scholarship to kansas university um from the music department there and it was um I went there. You, of course, uh, you do. You study, study your classical, your opera, and your jazz, and, that, and theory, and all that sort of thing. But I didn't stay because, it, for me, it was rather redundant. In that I had, I had been um, at, at uh, my my uh, Booker T. Washington. We had done, we had done college level theory already. So since yeah, it was already you know we'd done this already. So it was it was a little like doing it again. And I felt like okay, well you know what that's what they're doing here. Let me just go work. So <laughs> I had to do clubs and and get and I met up with Zachary Bro and Lazy Fair. Wonderful. So um, what what were the um, the musical idols uh, of your younger uh, time? You know, while you were at university and at the performing arts school, who who were your heroes? The people that are still my heroes today, frankly, um, Ella Fitzgerald, um, Sarah Vaughn, um, of course, uh, I, I dug Warriors very much. Uh, I dug Jimi Hendrix and wow. uh, Gladys Knight, and uh, uh, I love Bette Midler, uh, Rufus. Uh, you know, I mean, pretty much the same people who are my heroes today. Like you know, <laughs> you know, Parliament, <laughs> you know, Ohio players. I love Elton John and. A very, very, very varied uh, um, sort of schizo music, musical background. That's wonderful. That's a great list. I'm loving that list. That's just wonderful. And um, of course, uh, meeting up with uh, Roy Ayers in the '80s, and um, perhaps you can tell us a little bit about touring with the uh, with the Ubiquity uh, band. Yeah, that was uh, that was uh, like being thrown in the fire because I, I was basically. <laughs> 
you know, because there you go. These were these were grown ass men, and I was basically twelve mentally and emotionally. <laughs> 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 and I was the only girl in the band, so oh, but they taught my ass fast. So you know, you learn quickly, you know how how to be on the road and how how quickly how to adapt to living with a bunch of men and you know and the whole thing. Because I mean, I, there was no like I was sharing a room with the bass player, who by the way was not a lady. So <laughs> so yeah, it was dope. But you know, I, it was really like uh, it was music university being on stage with Roy Ayers, because he don't cut nobody no slack. <clears throat> well, yeah. I, I mean, I've seen him very recently, and uh, what, a, what a performance. Wow. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, absolutely brilliant. That's that's wonderful. So then sort of working with Chaka Khan um, and uh, people like Glenn Jones and Freddie Jackson, I mean, that must have been a really busy time for you. Well, because um, around, I think I started, uh, we'd already started, playing, and that's sort of what it became, you know. So it was a transition phase because I really, of course, you like the, there's a freedom involved with being a, a, a background singer and, uh, and and also less responsibility in the whole thing. But, of course, um, what I, what I, what I wanted to do was be, be able to be in a situation where, where I could create. And then that, that means, of course, moving it into the forefront. So it was a busy time. It was a good time, very um, uh, educational because of course I work with some amazing musicians who are still my friends like Lisa Fisher and, you know, and, um, you know, a lot of the, the sisters that were, that I did those shows with, uh, Cindy Mizell, and yeah. so it's like that those ladies are at the top of the game. It's cream. Wonderful. The crop. You know. That's absolutely that's absolutely great. Thank you for sharing that. That's 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 wonderful. And uh, then, of course, um, well, the family stand really w- was was the next thing. I, I believe Peter Lord and, and Jeffrey Smith and yourself. Correct. Yes. Jeffrey, say hi. Jeff is in the background. <laughs> oh, oh wow! Hi, hi, Jeffrey. How, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, that, that that was the next step. That was the next move. Wonderful. Could you, could you tell us a little bit about that and uh, tell us a little bit of the history? Yeah, there's uh, it's it's deep. I mean, you know, um, I met them. As a matter of fact, through Lisa Fisher, who I just mentioned, because she was singing, uh, doing demos for them, and she began begun to tour so much. <laughs> do the demo so she asked me you know that I want to do do it asked them if they want to check me yeah um, so we met at a Luther Van Dallas where I'm from and um and we you know just started to started to do some uh, demos together and it really clicked to this day you get us no matter how much time has gone in the in, in the in between you get in the room together it's just pretty much uh simpatico so yeah it's um to find uh, two guys who pretty much share background, you know, from jazz to rock to funk. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful, Sandra. If you could go through the uh, family stand thing again, I do apologise for making you say it twice. No, no, that's okay. As long as you can get it now. No, I was saying it was um, pretty amazing. I met them via Lisa Fisher. Uh, I don't know if you got all that, but Lisa, Lisa was getting kind of busy with her background singer stuff with Luther Vandross and... And uh, so she wanted to put somebody else in the place to do the demos with Peter and Jeff. They were doing produ- production demos and writing sessions with folks for other artists. So she asked me to do it. And we started doing these demos, and it was just an instant connection, really. You know, just the vibe was like, bam, you know. Wow. And all, I think all three of us, uh, yeah, we simultaneously uh, acknowledged that. And it's, uh, I think it, that that stems from the fact that we all have this eclectic background, mm. you know, of musical resource. I mean, we all love the pop, the rock, rock, you know, the, you know, we can really jazz, we can get into all of it. So, and it, but we all love based in soul music, but with all that other stuff going on. Yeah. So it's like brilliant to, 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 uh, to, to, to have that, like, it's almost like a predestined meeting of, 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 of minds and hearts and, 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 and talent. So yeah, I think it was kind of destined that we come to, together and make the music we did. That's that's absolutely fantastic. I mean, uh, for me, I mean, Ghetto Heaven. Uh, I mean, that's a that's just a classic. You know, that, thank that's, you. Um, <laughs> you. You know how how if you could tell us a little bit about how that came about, perhaps that would be wonderful. Yeah, that was just one of those songs. You know, we were 
writing songs uh, in the projects at Jeff's house where we li- where we used to record <laughs> back mm-hmm. then, and just inspired by our surroundings, really um, came up with you know I think Peter started with a melody and. Jeff had a beat, you know, and I had an idea for a bass line. I mean, you know, and then once you start putting it together, and, and you see, we saw Jeff's babies with their diapers on, and bopping their heads too. It's like, all right, we must be on to something. So, <laughs> <Wonderful>. <laughs> yeah, for real, for real. Yeah, it's just one of those things. Sometimes you know you on to something. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Well, you definitely were with that one because uh, really a week goes by where I don't get asked for it by someone. You That's know, awesome. Um, yes. A real, you know, a classic now, um, and and insisted upon that many, many, many do's. You know, um, yeah, yeah. You don't want to turn up without Ghetto Heaven because you're not going to be playing for long if you don't have it. No, no, no. I, we, we we know. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. I meant from a DJ point of view, not from your point of view. <laughs> ah, okay. Well, that's good too. That's good enough. <laughs> no, I didn't turn up without it, Sandra. That's oh, for okay. sure. <laughs> oh, dope, dope. <laughs> so um and then sort of a, you know 1996 sort of saw the start of your solo career and um you know what what was the driver for that really was it just natural progression or what was the thing No I really I I went kicking and screaming honestly <laughs> did not want to did I, I wanted to stay in family stand and I remember we were on tour in Europe and they were like no you got to do the solo thing so we really weren't happy with the label did not want to give them another album and I was, I remember sitting on the floor in the hotel room crying while they were, Pete and Jeff were saying, no, you have to do it, you got to do it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, but, you know, um, you know, they're always involved in whatever, so <laughs> one way or another. So it continues on, but it was not a, a choice I, I, I made easily. Well, you know, that that um, must have been very difficult, especially when you have such a working combination as yeah. you had with Family yeah. Stand. You know, it's yeah. Yeah. wonderful. Yeah. And um, so you went kicking and screaming, but are you glad you went? <laughs> well, you know, of course, I, I, still, I still think uh, we have more to say as a group. Thank you. Um, I do think there's more for us. And um, I don't know. And I, you know, so still, you know, uh, so I do ex- expect us to to do do something uh, further. But yeah, of course, I love being able to, you know, do whatever I do. Um, and I do. I'm proud of what I've what I have done. So, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. That's wonderful. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that. That's that's great. Yeah. And of course, um, well, you're um, you're playing tomorrow and Sunday, aren't you? Um, Birmingham tomorrow yeah, that's and right. uh, London that's on right. Sunday. So, oh, wonderful. the Birmingham is is, is cancelled now or postponed. What we were calling it is now postponed, but uh, we're doing the uh, London one for sure. At Hackney Empire. Wonderful. Yeah, at eight thirty. So that's uh, it's going to be beautiful. And Con- Connie's got a beautiful set, and uh, and the band sounds wicked. So yeah. Well, what a what a great combination, great yeah. set. Van no sounds wicked, and and you in there, and um, wonderful, and and Konyados as well. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> uh, um, yeah, so absolutely lovely. So, so what have you got in store um, for for people coming um, on Sunday? Then can can you share a little bit of that with us? Well, a little bit. I mean, you know, I I, I hesitate to call them concerts when I perform because it's not just a come and sit and watch somebody sing. I I, I like to involve, I want you to come and feel like you're part of something. It's like uh, more of an experience. Yeah. So, um, yeah, and Kanye has that sa- same attitude, you know, just of um, having sort of maybe a musical conversation with, with, with an audience, almost like they're in your, you know, in your living room. Um, so that's kind of the vibe we're, we're creating. That's, that sounds absolutely great, and I, and I will get uh, Konya's surname correct. I've been saying it that way for years, and I've been getting it wrong. How awful is that? Oh no! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I, I better I better make that change very quickly. Thank you. For yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, you got a you got a day and a half. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll make sure that I that I do that. Okay. Uh, so um when when you're finished here in the in the UK um what's coming up next then for for Sandra St Victor what's what's in the pipeline for the rest of the year Well you know it's it's all you got to keep it moving I have a, a, a the, the Oya's daughter 
uh, album is out and really digging the, resp- the response of that. Uh, we've got a remix e- EP coming out, I think, in a week with uh, mixes from uh, DJ Spina and Ty Macklin and uh, QB and Nicolay of Foreign Exchange. And it's really fabulous. Got a bonus cut on there, so that's going to be that's getting pushed now, as a matter of fact. And then I got to get my butt back in the studio. So working on the next one because you know you, you got to keep it, you got to keep throwing it out there nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> I got more stuff to say. <laughs> Wonderful, um, and we're so glad that you do have more stuff to say, and uh, <laughs> that's that's absolutely brilliant. And of course, um, with those new releases coming out, um, we, we can um, put some of those around this feature as well. Sandra, if, if you've got anything that you would like to say to your listeners here on Sound Fusion Radio, um, I'd, I'd love you. You know, there's, there's loads of time. Take your time. Say whatever you'd like to say. Well, I mean, you know what, it's, it's been a while that I've been in the U.K. doing my thing, and I'm very, very happy to be back and be welcomed back, and uh, even more happy that the V. Jeffrey Smith from Family Stand is with me. Wonderful. So that makes it extra, super-duper dope. Uh, so we're just looking forward to being here and doing our thing, and uh, hope you all dig it as, as much as we dig doing it. Well, definitely we will, that's, that's for sure. And okay. um, uh, loving the website there. Um, Thank you. That's that's great and keeps people up to date. All, all, all uh, good information there. So yeah. um, always wonderful. And uh, what through social media? I mean, uh, Facebook and and Twitter. Or can we can we find you there? Oh yeah, I'm easy. Just you know, I'm Sandra Saint Victor dot com and Facebook slash Sandra Saint Victor and also slash Sandra Saint Victor support. Um, uh, Twitter slash Sandra Saint Victor. I'm YouTube and I'm Instagram. Just Google me. It's I like being Googled anyway. It tickles, so just you'll find me anywhere. (laughs) (laughs) I like the concept of tickling whilst being Googled, but that's great stuff. That's cool, (laughs) wonderful, and I love it when um, because you know, being as we're uh, an internet-based station uh, as well, it it helps when um, you know when artists use the social media um, because a lot of our listeners use it too, and um, it just keeps everybody together. You know, the the, the extended family, so to speak. Sandra, okay. So. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Wonderful. Good. Well, well, certainly appreciate you taking the time and um, and having me on this today. And uh, we'll hope to get the word out there. Just give me some uh, tag me, and we'll we'll push it as much as we can. Oh, that's absolutely wonderful, and and thank you so much for your time. I know you must be very busy with things going on this weekend and so on. Yeah, but, yeah, um, we're rolling. We are rolling. <laughs> well, thank you very much for spending the time to talk okay. to us here at Sound Fusion Radio. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and thank I hope you. Sunday thank you. is fantastic. And, uh, okay. Brilliant. We'll, we'll, we'll speak to you very soon, Sandra. Thank you very much indeed for your time. All right, no problem. Have a beautiful day. Stay in touch. Will do. Thank okay. you. Hey. Bye. Bye.